Country Risk Conference. Uh, we, we hold it annually. Um, last year we held it in Manchester. Uh, obviously this year we're delighted to be here at the uh, Emirates Stadium. So good morning uh, everybody and uh, welcome to this uh, conference, uh, Country Risk Conference uh, in uh, this uh, wonderful venue. Uh, last year we were in Manchester. Uh, this year we are in, uh, in London and uh, we are uh, twice uh, the number we were uh, last year. COFES is an international based credit insurance company. Uh, we are present in 93 countries throughout the world. Uh, we specialise in credit insurance which is basically protecting uh, both our domestic policy holders and our export policy holders against the, uh, the, th the fear and the threat of non-payment. The value here today is really about learning about that world economy as well as the UK, what's happening if there's any new credit um, changes and uh, country risk assessments and such like, uh, anything that can potentially impact on our business in any shape or form. Some of our biggest suppliers are from the Far East, so if they sneeze, we catch cold. So we, you know, to be informed about that is extremely useful. We are in times that uh, are certainly challenging uh, uh, going forward at least for another two or three years. And uh, in order to meet those challenges, we need a partner. We need an ally and COFAS. They will be our, they've been our partners now for three or four years. We will need that partnership going forward with it. So purely one word, partnership. 70% of our uh, business is exports. So this uh, conference has been uh, really particularly interesting because it's covered uh, um, Europe and the global economy. We look at the current economic climate. Slow growth in the UK, we'll have more details about this from more eminent speakers than myself, but that's one reason why um, I look to export as a credit manager to assist my business and my business grow. Because as far as the UK is concerned, uh, things are a bit sticky. Coming out of the financial crisis that we had in 2008-2009, which was very sharp but very deep, I think um, it's just it's just such an uncertain time for both the global economy and actually national economies. And Swan Mill's been with COFAS now for over 20 years and credit insurance helps us mitigate and reduce our risks and gives us the confidence essentially to trade with customers knowing that someone the size and the experience of COFAS is behind us that if we need to they can help us out. Well it's pretty tough out there at the moment. I mean a lot of people are still saying you know, it's a bit like an L-shaped recession. It's, we've hit the bottom and we're bouncing along. It's nice to hear this morning that they actually believe we're in a U-shaped recession, so we are coming out of it. Certainly in some sectors we are, in other sectors it's still very tough. Not only are interest, have interest rates been reduced to record low levels, but you've got this unconventional policy which nobody really knows how this will work through and how it will work itself out. This is quite a high-risk strategy, and I suppose lying behind the fears is the idea, you see the contrast there between rising debt in the advanced economies, in general falling public sector debt in the emerging world. The fear is that the easiest way out of a debt problem, whether it's private sector debt or public sector debt, is to inflate your way out of it. So I think the question the markets will be asking if inflation stays high is, you know, are, is this a sort of conspiracy between central banks and governments to get us out of a difficult mess by having a bit more inflation, maybe a lot more inflation than is comfortable. Key phrase I picked up on uh, from uh, David Smith's uh, talk uh, was that uh, following the uh, recent uh, recession, uh, we are still facing an age of instability. It will feel like an age of instability going forwards. I think the key question, uh, I think of Europe as kind of swimming against the tide. There is a tide right now. It's running against us. And we're desperately trying to swim in the opposite direction. If we don't pick up some momentum, if we don't make really quite difficult policy choices uh, over the coming years, then um, I think Europe will start to go backwards. And it will be a structural backwards, and it will last um, a long time. I think this event is a great thing to attend um, because it's been very interesting to learn um, about the economic downturn, uh, the difficulties that have been experienced in the past and how countries are working to recover. Um, it's also a great opportunity to network with other people in the industry. If 
I can end on some good news, is this. Those confidence measures, although they are low, especially the business ones, um, they're very low historically. Indeed, construction's still at a sort of crisis level uh, when you go back through history. It's picked up. It is reviving. Likewise, private sector job security, that's picked up as well. It's still weak, but these are signs, suggestions, that this downturn that we've had lately is temporary and that things should pick up in the second half of the year. The key message for me was why we've had several years in the doldrums uh, and we're not out of the woods yet. There's still green shoots coming through and there's a lot of positives coming through. Um, which bodes well for going forward both in terms of the risk and also our business for growth. I think the format works. Um, next year we'll probably hold it in Dublin, um, which will, uh, which will uh, be very interesting uh, because, because obviously of the situation of the Irish economy uh, and the challenges that they certainly have at the moment. In this chart you see how, why do we have credit insurers in the world. Uh, it's because there are credit crises, meaning there are some pikes, some, some, some peak of, of bankruptcies uh, every five years. And you see, so the line is the, is the corporate non-payment, the claims we receive from our clients. And uh, the red bar is the world GDP. And you see that, well, uh, every time the, the bar is pretty low and you have a slowdown, you have a peak in bankruptcy. And you see that the latest crisis, the, the so-called... Uh, securitization lemon crisis has been absolutely devastating for us, for COFAS. We've never seen that level of claims uh, before in our, in our history of existence and we exist since uh, 1945. There were a lot of people here. Um, as I say, I think they, everybody would have uh, benefited from hearing experts on these subjects. Um, to me, there was a lot of consistency uh, in what everybody was saying. We need to, uh, to, to, to be, uh, to be uh, cautious of the fact that most probably we will have a, a slow and steady increase in the insolvency rates uh, for the coming uh, month. Uh, as COFAS, we are prepared for that. Uh, we don't expect something brutal as it happened uh, three years ago, but we think that there will be uh, some increase in risk. It was an eye-opener in relation to where we are, not only in Europe but around the world. For me personally, I think for a lot of the other delegates as well. Everything today has been uh, interesting here because uh, the speakers are professionals and I think they've covered areas which one won't think about. It's been an amazing transformation. I mean, when, when they first set up in the UK, COFAS is a French operation. I worked for them when they were in Paris. And when they set up their UK operation, it was very small and now it's a huge operation within the UK, one of the top three credit insurers, and it's fantastic to see them succeed so well in a market that's well deserved through their hard work and efforts. The location here is uh, pretty spectacular. The venue today, well I'm an Arsenal fan, so being at the Emirates is, um, is a fantastic, and um, you know, just seeing it, having seen it on TV, it's awesome. Um, and as I said to one of the other delegates, it definitely beats any of the hotels or other locations that you typically have these conferences in. Great to hear good accountants and, and economists talking about the economy, uh, especially from a worldwide perspective. We see a certain amount in the media, but these guys know exactly what they're talking about. The most important aspect for me in terms of the COFAS conference is uh, bringing together brokers, credit managers, insurers and other organisations alike together in one place to discuss a common theme, basically, our export markets and security for our export markets. Exporting is what UK businesses critically need to do. Um, the biggest risk that our exporters face, as all exporters face, is the non-payment for the services or goods they supply. COFAS is there to provide credit insurance to cover that particular risk. Um, the, the, cost of the, the cost of the insurance is something like any other overhead that can be built into the cost of the goods or services supplied. Um, but if you have a major failure of a customer, that failure, if it's not insured, will bring your business down. With credit insurance, it won't.